Hello, welcome back to HLS Crypto. My name is Dan. Let's move this over here. If it'll go, should do in a second. There we go. So HBAR is pumping. Uh, Hedera, Fed now, big news. Uh, so it's up, I think it was up 16% in 24 hours. So it's pumping right now. So let's take a look at this. Uh, I think it might have re retraced slightly since then. Yeah, so it's up 12.5% now, but still massive climb in the last 24 hours, which obviously was always on the cards for HBAR. But, you know, I think this is probably going to go again as well uh, because it's just such a phenomenal project. Let's go a little bit deeper then. So why is this? Well, I think there's two things that we need to discuss. The first being FedNow, which there's actually a, a quite a good article about this here. So head, uh, HBAR surges 15% as FedNow support Hedera. Um, if we scroll down a little bit, so the Federal Reserve FedNow payment system has enabled support for Drop, a micro a micro payment platform based on the HBAR network, according to available information on this website, on its website. So Drop is a payments platform based on Hedera that allows merchants to get paid in digital assets, including HBAR, USDC and Fiat US dollar. Uh, merchants can earn and keep their income on the platform while consumers only pay per use without having to share their information. Now, how long the whole sharing of the information thing is going to last for, I don't know. I would imagine that at some point, you know, they're going to make people share information. It's unfortunately one of the things that tends to tends to happen when, when more and more regulation comes in, in my opinion. But we'll see how things go, you know, because I think, still think we've got a bit of time before that gets to that stage. Um Due to being powered by Hedera's distributed ledger technology, Drop also supports NFT storage and transfers. Merchants can receive payments without high paying transaction fees, which would be um, unavoidable with credit card transactions. The platform already utilizes automating clearing house network, ACH, to fund customers' wallets and for end of day payments to merchants. Though the FedNow service Drop now plans to partner with banks to provide merchants with real time settlements and enable instant payments at the retail level. The support will enable Drop to provide merchants an innovative option for year-round end-of-day real-time settlement and instant payment services, providing access to funds directly from customers for large value transactions. The FedNow website further stated that Drop would be would open up a digital economy for micro-purchases. So the FedNow is an instant payment infrastructure launched by the, by the Federal Reserve back in June, and it allows financial institutions in the US to process transactions 24-7. Now, obviously, we had, there was a lot of problems with uh, XRP and stuff with it with the SEC. So this is kind of like a move in the other direction for HBAR. It seems to be getting much more adoption within the USA. So that could be a big thing for it too. So um, news of the development has pushed the value of HBAR's native uh, network's native HBAR token up to fifteen percent in the last twenty four hours. Now, obviously, it, that was slightly higher. We're now at over seven cents, which is uh, incredible. Um, Again, this is more about blockchain as a whole, but the network did recently celebrate processing 17 billion transactions on its blockchain, despite losing access to most services in March after it experienced irregularities with smart contracts. There's another thing as well that I think we should touch on, which is Hyundai and Kia, two major automakers, you know, big car, car manufacturers, have embraced the Hedera network, indicating an increase in blockchain adoption. Now, according to an exciting announcement, Hyundai and Kia have introduced a CO2 emissions monitoring system based on the Hedera network. And there's HBAR's foundation tweeting that out there and confirming it. Now, the thing we've been speaking about for quite a while is that HBAR is massively green. So it's going to align itself with some of these very green uh, green news. Basically, these, these companies are, are trying to go green themselves. Car emissions is one of the big things that they're looking at. So that's going to be exciting times for HBAR there as well, in my opinion. So right now, as we're looking, it's, uh, yeah, so it's still over seven cents. You know, I, th I think it's still, it's still got room to grow a little bit more myself uh, before we maybe see some kind of uh, retracement. So if we can scroll this down, which we'll do shortly, I imagine. Oh, it says connection restored, but doesn't look like I'm getting any. Here we go. So, as always, I've been a huge fan of the dollar cost average method. 
and we're likely to see continued FOMO now, I would imagine, into HBAR. You know, there's going to be markets waking up around the world. There may be a further surge on this, and I would imagine for a few more hours, potentially days. But once again, the skill we speak about is controlling those emotions. So yeah, this is great news for our investment, in my opinion, when we're just going to get started. But we're not off to the races yet. A retrace, in my opinion, is inevitable. But it is something to get excited about in cryptocurrency. It is something to to break the monotony of a lot of sideways action. So this is good news. This is a good thing. Very happy with it. But these prices are going to look so small when that bull run hits. And that's the kind of thing you've got to get around that, that emotional state of going, oh, great, my bags are up. Now, that is this is great news. This is one of the times that we, we focused back on before about controlling emotions. This is a good time to do that. But 100%, there's exciting times ahead for Hedera. Keep your eyes on the price. Stay spread. As we always say, make sure you're, you're building your 5 to 10 altcoins. Build them bags accordingly. But yeah, this is great news. It's, it's, it's obviously very relevant and new at the moment. So I thought we'd best get a video out and discuss this a little bit. Uh, as always, I'm really appreciative of all the subscribers up to 55. Now, it's had a bit of a jump there from 51. So yeah, you know, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button hit the like button and comment below what you think of this news about HBAR because, you know, for me, it's great. But, you know, what, what do you see the retrace being? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, take care of yourself and I'll see you tomorrow.